Hi here, in this lecture, I want to compute the coefficient of variation using the scipy.stat library. Alright, let's get started. I will import scipy.stat as sp. Okay. Now, the formula for the coefficient of variation is given by 100 times the standard deviation divided by the mean, the sample mean. Typically, in most statistical textbooks, the sample standard deviation is used when we compute the coefficient of variation. That's because we typically use it to compare the variation between uh, two samples or several samples. Alright? So, please note that within uh, SciPy stat, the coefficient of variation that is computed is not multiplied by 100. But we can always multiply by 100 the result. That's not a problem. But the, the second thing to pay attention to is that within uh, SciPy stat, they are using the population standard deviation as supposed to the sample standard deviation. So this is something to keep in mind when sometimes you are comparing your result to what other software like Excel or SAS or any other statistical software is using. So this is something to keep in mind. All right, the coefficient of variation, uh, we, uh, here we have the weight of goat in kilogram, and the uh, temperature and Fahrenheit, the units are different, so we will use coefficient of variation to compare the variability. All right, I start with uh, defining a list of the data. So I call the first list goat to contain all the goat weight, so 30. 34, 29, 45, 50, 28, 29, and 32. All right, eight observation. For temperature, I create another list. So that would be 60, 45, 70, 72, 43, 40, 78 and 49. There are also 8. Now, the coefficient of variation of GOAT, so I will call the CV GOATs, that will be equal to SP variation. Alright, GOATs. Now, I don't have missing value, so I can stop. I don't need to specify non policy, but it doesn't hurt. I can always specify it just in case uh, if I'm using uh, other data with missing values, uh, you know, you, we know automatically that we need to specify non-policy equal omit. That is saying simply that if there are missing values here, delete it before passing the data to the variation, otherwise we're going to get a non-error. Okay, so here let's process this. And uh, for temp, I'm going to call it CV temp. That will be SP variation temp. Again, there is no missing value. I don't have to specify non policy, but you know, I will just include it. It's a good practice to always know which parameter this comes in handy when uh, there are missing values. All right, so I computed it. Let's list uh, the goat, CV goats. All right, uh, let's list the CV temp. So you can see the coefficient of variation for goat is 22.37%. If I multiply by 100, the coefficient of variation of temp is 24.26%. So I mean, it's convenient to multiply by 100, you know, because people can understand percentages better, but we can keep it in decimal and compare. So here we see that temperature has more variability than the weight of goat in kilo, because temperature, the coefficient of variation of temperature is higher than that of goat. Thank you.